do, but also she's a Rio Olympic Games referee. She has competed many world championships, officiated many world events. So we have a highly trained master from Grandmaster Alva Adams from Texas. So before getting started, well, my name is Master Rick Shin. Uh, my father had organized, created this organization 32 years ago. So I'm very happy to see all our U.S. World Class Step on the families attending this seminar this weekend. So there's a couple of things. Number one, all of our virtual classes are being recorded. So and we're going to be using as a promotion and photos we're taking, but everything is recorded. Number two, please have enough space to kick and punch and do your forms. We recommend at least five, five by five area so you're not breaking TVs or your furnitures or hurt yourself. And third is that you guys are agreed to hold harmless from getting hurt or suing our U.S. World Class Type Under Association or its affiliate if you do get hurt while training online. So please don't hurt yourself. Take it easy. And lastly, if you have any questions, please uh, write a chat. You know, inbox and we can respond to you at the same time. Uh, Ms. Claire is constantly looking and answering. So we'll have a question and answer time as well. And I hope you guys are doing well during this COVID trouble times, but wishing you very well from our US World Class Taekwondo. I'd like to introduce to our Grandmaster Alva Adams. Ms. Claire. Hello, Master Adams. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. So let's start with the official bow. Okay, everybody attention. And bow. Welcome, Master, Grandmaster Alva Adams. It's all yours. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, it's my pleasure to join the Saturday online training class with you. And I uh, hope um, you will enjoy the class today. And uh, my purpose of uh, Teaching the class right now is uh, we're going to concentrate on Pacha and as well as choreo. And I know the class tends to only have one hour, so uh, we'll try to do uh, do our very best to get both forms in. So if I go too fast, uh, just make sure you type the chat box and let the host know that it's going a little bit too fast. You can't get uh, you can't catch up. So again, today is going to concentrate on the Pacha and choreo. So what I like to do is we're going to start a class by just some little stretch because uh, as you know that we do uh, fuse kicks and it's going to be side kicks and front kicks and we want to make sure that we don't hurt our uh, hamstrings. And uh, so let's just start without further ado. Let's start doing some uh, line stretch. Okay. So everybody put your hands right next to your waist. Up down. So hands down. Hands up. Hands down. Up. Down and up. Now look the left and right. Left, right, left, and right, left, and right now. Okay. Two, three, four, one side, and then reverse. Left side. Let's change direction first. And one last time, reverse. Very good. Now put both your arms in front. Then go to rotate forward. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go right, left, right, left. Good to go. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now we're going to do a big combo. Other side. And then reverse the other side. Number two, and reverse. And reverse for one more time. Very good. Now we're going to keep our legs just a little bit wide. We're going to go forward. So when you go forward, don't just go like this. What I want you to do is when you go forward, I want you to push your body back because this is really good strength for our hamstring. So push all the way back, right? So go like this. Okay. We're going to count 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now go up. 
Now we're going to press our knee, one side only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now switch side now. We go all the way up. Make sure when you go all the way up, this knee, when you bend, heels completely on the floor. Toes go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and switch. Same thing. Complete your foot on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now we're going to sit down the other side. And then we're going to do toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now without switching side, we're going to rotate our body right in the middle. Try to keep your elbow, you can go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now we're going to switch side. Now grab your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. Okay, go forward. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm using the microphone. <laughs> so it's kind of long. I'll adjust the down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now we're going to get up. Okay. This next stretch is we're going to go straight one side. We're going to go down, but without touching the floor. So just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. So this basically a little quick hamstring, uh, hamstring stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a leg, uh, leg lifting to just make sure we uh, again warm up a little bit. So everybody, you know, five seconds, give me. Okay, one side, leg lifting, just straight up and down. Ready? Come on. Two. Set. Then. Pass it. Okay, switch side. Come on. Two. Set. Then. Pass it. Okay, switch side. Okay, front kick. Now I just want you to kick at a comfortable level. Don't try to kick too high because we're still doing the warm up uh, stage. Okay, ready? Up. Two. Set. Set. Pass it. Okay, switch. side kick so we're going to skip the roundhouse kick so we're going to side kick make sure you bring your knee up chamber okay bell level first chamber re chamber ready up. Make sure that you're warm up and ready uh, for your hamstrings, your legs. 
Now we're gonna do some hands um, punches and blocks, okay? So some basic warm ups as well. Everybody should know. Horse ready, say, Jimmy! Single punches, star wheel, right arms, okay? Single punches, follow my count. Everybody make a forward stance, long stance here. So we're going to do thumb block. Same legs, same arms. If your left foot is in the front, you block with your left. If your right foot is in front, block with your right. Okay, so ready. switch middle block. When we switch middle block, inside block also, we're going to opposite. So we're going to block with the opposite arms. Okay, ready?
Okay, very good. I think let's go ahead and start. Sure, everybody's back. So, uh, with the scorecard, say uh, it's very important that uh, your accuracy, your basic movement, that you know, hopefully by this time you're all high level advanced class, you have the foundation already in. If not, just keep working on your basic movement because what happens is the more you um, work on your basic movement, then when you do the higher belt um, ponce, you can put all those basic movements together to make sure that the, you express say, yourself through the forms in your basic movement. So that's very important. A second thing is that presentation is that when you do the forms, okay, make sure you do it a very graceful way. It's almost like dancing, right? So dancing, there's a tempo, sometimes there's a fast, sometimes there's slow. So same thing with ponce. There's attacking movement is always a little bit faster. Defensive movement is slower. So I'll show you what that means in just a minute. So with a pa jump, um, also another thing is what we say. When you move, make sure you don't go up and down, up and down. Try to stay everything at the same level, okay? And then the balance, the coordination, the balance is very important. So that means your footwork. Okay, a lot of people, a lot of time when they move, you know, see how their toes are going up or heels going up more. So if you start doing this or this here, that's when you start wobbling your whole body. So what happens is you have to make sure you complete planting yourself. What that mean is, you know, you plant yourself, that means you got to sink down, sink down. So when you sink down, that's how the way you keep your balance. So with those basic knowledge of the sport punse, when you start learning a new punse or practice your punse, if you know, then you can practice on that is keep your balance, coordination, your foot complete off on the ground, plant it on the ground. So if necessary, you have to grab it with your toes. That means how you make balance. And then between the movement, make sure it's on one level. So let's explain to you on the basic move, starting from the uh, paw jump. So of course, everybody know the dream stance, right? Dream beat. So when you dream beat, you just very relax. Put both of your hands facing each other, like here. Dream beat, one, two solo flex here, and then turn yourself, make a fist, and gradually, slowly push down, okay? Some people, I see this. Okay, that's kind of old style. So right now, we just kind of gracefully, one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. So this is side view, right? So you don't want to make sure you go too far or too close. Just very comfortable position and then slightly bend your elbow. So the first movement with a paw jump is we're going to do a double uh, block. So I'm going to do a kind of diagonal so you will see. So from here, another thing is what's for to say the volume or your preset. We'll call this everything, every book blocks, every movement, there's also a preset involved. So a lot of time you don't want to be blocking from here, right? You want to be up. That means extend your arms up. So from here, okay? So this first movement is back stands, you double. So what I want you to do is look at your screen. So we're going to do the front movement first. Okay, so this is dreamy, dreamy. Okay, first one, first movement is actually two action. So one, and then pull your hands down back with a punch. Okay, the second movement is double kick, double front kick. So what you want to do is the first front kicks always have to end with bell high. You see a lot of people go like this, right? So they, they just reach their uh, legs and kicking low. So for the paw jump, that's not, that's incorrect movement. So what you need to do is you need to go kick. So that means you need to go forward, kick, kick, and then block, double punch, and then front punch. So that's one, so one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five movements, front line. So let's all work that together. Okay, everybody follow me. Jump. Jimmy, one, two, three, four, five. First movement, two action. Hold up, one, two. Good. Next one is double front kick. First one is in your 
uh, waist high, second one, and high. Ready? Go! Kick, kick. One, pa, pa. And then add front punch. Go. Very nice. Very nice. So remember, we have a key out, right? So key out is second front kick key out. Ah! And then block, double punch, double punch. Okay, let's do it one more time because I can't see everybody's movement. So um, try to go slow. If you have questions, let me know. Raise your hand. Or anything. Okay, front movement, five movement. Jimmy, one, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, five, three. Very good. Okay, that's our front movement. Okay, very nice. Now, when I say she jump, everybody finish until the punch. Okay, ready? Make sure you have enough room, okay? Jimmy, one, two, three, four, five. She jump. Very nice, okay? So after this, um, so from here, you gotta turn, then you block. So what happens, let me explain to you. This arm needs to be perfect 90 degree angle. This arm is blocking here. And you can see my foot, both your toes. This is not a front stance, okay? Both your so it needs to be uh, parallel, facing 45 degrees. So what? So this one is 90 degree. Okay, see my foot toe to toe is same line. Toe to toe, same line. Okay, let me get closer. So toe to toe, same line. Some people, when they go out here, this force in the back in front of here, though. No. Make sure it's side by side. It's called parallel and the toes facing 45 degree. Okay? So after next movement, a lot of people I see, they just go like this, watch. Okay, they do a really sharp turn. So we wanna do, what we're gonna do is, it's very graceful, small, uh, slow turn. Look at me, so we just go, really go soft. One, coming from here, a lot of people coming from the bell level. Actually, you need to go up a little bit. And here, go go straight. You don't want to bend, like very natural movement, like here. And this movement is eight count. So watch me. The way I do eight count, I go one, two, three, four. So by the time it's four, I'm on top of each other. Okay? Palms down. And the five, six, seven, eight is when I start rotating. Five, six, seven, eight. That way I can make sure by the count of eight, my hands is right next to my shoulder. This one is chin high. Okay, so everybody, let's do it together. Let me do a diagonal so you can see. Okay, so I'm here, ready, go. One, two, three, four, rotate, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice, one more time. So don't do it. I see a lot of people go five, six, seven, eight. They already five here, and then they go five, six, seven, eight, rotate okay, right there. No. Five on here and then start rotating. Okay, ready? Everybody together. Last time, when they go. One, two, three, four, rotate. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the next movement. So, next movement is you don't want to move this way, this leg here, back leg. All you need to do is push the front leg here, push and cross in front with your toe uh, heels up. So in other words, this leg is completely still planted on the floor. All you need to do is do a front cross leg, crosswalk, and then just go the other side. So now you can make sure, again, the toe and toe is one line facing one direction. Okay, so let me just do it in your, in your ankle. So from here, right, you push for your front leg, push forward, Heels up, kind of 45 degrees that way, and then, okay, 90 degrees, this right here, not 
to high and low from here. Okay, so okay, one more time. Everybody, with this position here, we're gonna go slow. Okay, ready, go. One and two. Okay, so same thing, eight counts, really slow. One, two, three, four, rotate, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very good. Now let's put everything together. Turn, block, eight count, cross over, block, eight count. And I'm going to do the same direction as you because right now you're facing the camera, right? So, uh, okay. so, I'll right here. You ready? All my time. What? Okay, two, eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross over. What? Cross. What? Okay, eight count. Go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Okay. Now we're going to do the double knife one. So what you do again, your back legs don't turn because you're going to switch directions. So you're going to push your front leg, complete push, right? With that foot still on, on the ground, push, turn. See that everybody? Practice. Okay. So by here, push body, push, turn, stay and sit. Okay, last time, ready? Ready, push, turn, right. And then after this, let's add the arms, okay? So we got one here, ready, one. Okay, another trick, because it's double knife block, so when you do a double knot block, I've seen people do this, okay? On here, right? They put their arms right here, and then they have to swing all the way. See, this is like more than 180 degrees. So what happens is you want to go this direction, your arms, this direction, and then block. Easy to turn. If you go like this, watch me. You go ahead and have to go like this, see? So you swing too much. That's when you are off balance. So make sure your arms facing back. Facing back. Okay. And then front punch. All right. So start from here. So we add double block and then punch. Okay, ready? She jump. One, two. Okay. Very good. Now we're gonna go forward. Now this time is we're going to add front kick and back, back, tiger, tiger kick, uh, tiger stance with a palm, palm block, solo flex, uh, uh, height. So this here is you actually have to come three movements. Let me show you. Okay. So from here, for example, I'm facing you. So we're going to go kick, one, two, and three. Number three is when you do a tiger stance. A lot of people do one, two, three. Don't dress, okay? Just one, kick one, two, three. I'm sorry, kicks one, okay? So let's do that. On here. Ready, go. Kick one, two, pull your hands up, grab, and then three. Okay, it's right here, three. See my arms? Okay, so a lot of people go like this. A lot of people go, they go like this, they push down. It's not pushed down because this is blocking the, somebody uh, do the front, uh, front punch to you. Okay, on here in tiger stance, right? All right, next steps. Next steps, so on here, you lightly drop your front legs and then, Change about the tiger stance. Now front legs, front kick. Ready, go. Kick, punch. And then preset, block. Now turn the other side, ready, one. Okay, two, front kick, punch, and then three. 
flop. Very nice, just like that. Okay, now we're going back. So now, from here, this movement, this next movement is high front kick and high front kick. So it's not low and high. So you gotta do kick. So this movement is very important. Everybody watch the screens. Okay, because I'm opposite. So from here, we go kick. You gotta make sure you chamber. Why? Because you gotta off this, you gotta jump up. So jump, right? So a lot of people, they actually jump forward. But this particular movement, you actually need to stay where you're at. And then I see a lot of people, after they do a front kick, they jump on sideways. The reason they jump sideways, because they wanna make sure they come back to the same place. So if you referee catch that, it's like deduction, right? So make sure from here, front kick, chamber, tuck it in. All you need to do is just rebound, switch side, and jump high, and then jump high, and then back, double punch. Okay, so let's do, let me see. From here, I'll show you the front kick, okay? Let me see where where's your direction is. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do from here, right? So you're facing your tree from here. Ready? Go. Kick and jump. One. Other punch. Okay. So make sure the second kick you need a key out, right? Second from here. Next one. All you need to do is same thing. Push it backwards. Push back leg. Okay. Single knife. Okay, go. Very nice. The next one is because you're, you're going to change your back stance to front stance. All you need to do is move a little bit halfway and turn, okay? So from here, this arms is go up. Okay, elbow up, down to the nose. See, my shoulder has to change, right? And then push from the front, uh, front punch. Same thing, the other side. From here, one, okay, push, two, to your jaw, back fist to your nose, front punch, okay, and Apollo, move your back foot, Apollo, one, two, three, four, five, show. So that's kind of breakdown of a par jump, okay, I wish I could see you guys, but we have a lot of people on the screen, so I won't be able to see you. Each individually. So does anybody have questions? I think we can look at the chat box if you have any questions. Uh, let me know if I'm going a little bit too fast or some areas that you're not really uh, uh, can catch up. Let me just open my chat box. Let me see if there's anything. Okay, so, okay, mostly it's uh, equipment, audio. Okay, very good. I don't see anything. Okay, all right, very good. So we're gonna do, so it's about exactly 30 minutes to the class. So we're gonna take a quick water break. We come back, we're gonna run, take it, uh, part on again from the beginning to the end, follow my count, and then we'll move on to the choreo. Okay, everybody chill up. Connect. Okay, two minute water break, go.
Hi, everybody. Just a reminder, if you have any questions for Master Adams, go ahead and put them in the chat box. Thank you, guys. Ms. Claire, do you have a problem hearing me? Um, no, the audio is great. There are some people that have a little bit of internet connection, so they've reset that, and I think they're doing well now. Thank you. You sound great. Thank you, Karen. I do have some questions because we do have poom belts and we have red and brown belts in this seminar. And so they're asking if they're welcome to stay for the black belt form. Sure. Um, I know we told our students that, you know, even if you're not a black belt, you can start learning some techniques and just following along. And just remember, if it's too difficult, it is a black belt form, just try your best. Okay, I think we're gonna get started. Uh, we'll take A, we're gonna roll one more time. And Ashley's gonna put my microphone up. So make sure that you can hear me. Okay. All right. So let's run a uh, pot jump. From the beginning to the end, follow my count. I'm gonna go really slow. Uh, that way, hopefully you will be able to follow me. And so I'm gonna do the direction where you are. Because right now I know you're facing the screen, so I am going to complete turn myself, pretending I'm on your spot and facing the screen. Okay, so that way you can if you if you you know kind of confuse what the next movement is, you can always just fix at the screen and make sure that your direction, your hands um, position will be happy exactly like mine. Okay, so everybody shut up. To me, one. Two, three, four, five. Ready? One. Two. Yeah. Ah. Three. Okay, block. One. Okay, eight count. Go. One, two, three, four. Rotate. Five, six, seven, eight. Crossover. One. beginning to the end. So again, make sure you have to be steady when you movement, same level, don't go up and down. When you move, don't push out yourself. When you move, when you, um, it's very important when you transition, you always want to kind of move forward. This is how you transition, this way. Same thing the other side, when you do transitions like this, okay? Don't do up and down. Up and down, okay? So you can remember that. 
I guarantee you, you're going to improve your Ponce a lot. Okay. So now we're going to go with uh, the next movement. Uh, next Ponce is uh, choreo. So for some of you guys are Kundo, it's okay. We're going to break it down. Just try to follow it as much as you can. Uh, if you can remember, just a little bit in the front, that would be great. So I'm going to face you, so it won't be in the opposite direction, okay? So with the uh, choreo, the dream bay movement is one, two, three, four, five, okay? So you're going to pretend that you're holding a ball right on your arms. So don't go open your uh, uh, elbow like this and don't do straight. I've seen actually people do this straight. So you want to make nice little triangle here. So the first movement is back uh, back stance, the double lunge. So I, I see a lot of people do this. So they go like this and they just sit, okay? We don't want to do that. So when we make sure we turn, when we preset our legs, our uh, hands, we want to gradually slow or kind of go down. And all you need to do is just go, okay? Remember, we want to eliminate that up and down, up and down, okay? So what happened is the next one is double side kick. I'm gonna go closer to the screen. This first side kick, it needs to be your knee level. So I see a lot of people kick the floor, okay? You need to bring it up, kick your knee level, kick, and then we check, make sure your hands is tied in right in front. So once you finish the first one, and then we chamber, and the second one, you can make sure you use the uh, pivot the bottom leg. So kick, and then this is a high neck chop. Okay, neck chop, a lot of people are going too low. So neck chop, and then punch. Okay, let's repeat that movement from right here. Okay, when I say go, I want you to side kick, side kick, neck chop, and punch. For all movement together, ready? Go. Make sure that you're uh, comfortable. Make sure the rest of the form are fluid. This is the form, the very first movement that you have to spend a lot of time. Make sure you have a good start. Okay, let's move forward. The second set is all front, move, uh, front forward movement. So front move, uh, forward movement uh, is very important because you're facing how many judges in front? Three judges, right? And sometimes all the judges stay right in front. So you want to impress them. You want to impress them as much as you can. So what you do is, from here, down block, right? Uh, ninth block. 
and natural. Let me examine uh, the natural. Sometimes I see people go like this natural. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not a right movement for, uh, for this pose. So you have to make sure you turn by right here. Okay. So it's like here. When you, when you attack, you want to attack on here. So this needs to be make sure you straight. And sometimes I see people, the fingers facing forward. So you actually have to turn. So when you strike the throw, this hurts. This is really not nothing. Okay. So it's from here. Choke. Make sure it's this right here. So make sure it's straight, okay? So that's that movement. So from here, watch me. So it's nine o'clock, push. When you push, push all the way. And then when you execute that front kick, you gotta retrieve your hands and do the front kick all at the same time. Kick, right? And then preset, block, choke. And then kick, block, choke. And then here, and the last one is you have a screw. This last one is where if somebody kick, you grab the legs, right, and you break your knee. So you actually have to have a little bit of this movement. Okay, so let me just do the last one. So you here, kick, and screw. So a lot of times I see people will actually hold their arms. You don't want to hold it on, why? Because you have a leg in between. So you gotta make sure there's a space. So screw, go down. Okay, so make sure there's a little, that's your uh, knee block. So let's do the front movement. Start from here. Actually, I'm gonna do the same direction for you. Ready? One, block, natural. Okay, kick, block, natural. Ready, go. Kick, block, natural. Second one, go. Block. Ah! Okay, and then kick, knee block. Go, kick, and block. Okay, let's do one more time. Let me get closer. So I'm going to face this. Okay, ready? She jump, one, two, two, kick, one, two, three, kick, one, ah! Last one, go, kick, and knee break. Okay? Now we're going to turn in the back here. So this one, this block, front kick, knee block again. So we're gonna go here. So when you go uh, knee block, you want to raise your arms up and push down. Don't, do, don't, don't, don't push from here to here, okay? You actually, need to give you a momentum to break that knee, okay? So let's, uh, let's turn back from, let me see. Yeah. One here, turn, let me go one. Okay, kick, knee block, go. Kick, block. And then, same thing, so we do walking sense here, right? All right, so next one is horse riding stance, single block. This stance, because we're doing the horse riding stance, that means our body cannot be at an angle, okay? If you get an angle, your legs bulking like this. You look almost like a back stance. So since it's a horse riding stance, we have to make sure our body is perfectly lined up facing from right here. Okay, next movement. All you need to do without moving your legs, punch over. Okay, from here, all, in this hands, all you need to do is just turn. I see a lot of people doing this, watch. So actually bring it back. Don't bring it back. So all you need to do is just turn to catch your, um, your punch. Turn. Good, all right? So next movement, I want you to see me, okay? Watch. Next movement, we go cross over. Keep your hands straight. Don't go down, don't pull. Because a lot of people, when they move, they pull your hands already. So if it is a particular movement, don't pull. Okay, from here, right in stance, walk. And then when you kick side kick, that's the way you pull. When you pull, you have to be like a small hinge, like this. So watch me from here, pull. Okay, so when you kick and pull, same time, at the same time, same time. And then we're gonna block. So palm facing down, reach over. 
Okay, there's a groin attack. So why go down? Why go up? Okay, so let's let's do this movement. Let's go from here. We're going to turn to the horse riding stance. Ready? Go. One, two. Ready for the kick? Go. Cross over. Kick in. One second. Very good. Next movement. Very simple. Go back. Thumb block. Next movement. Okay. This is to block the front punch. So I see all variety of the blocking, right? So a lot of people go like this. Okay. A lot of people go like this. Okay. So the most natural way is you just raise it from your ear line here, raise your arms from here. Okay, and push a little bit and just go push it down. The height needs to be so flex high. So don't do this too low, not the bell level, because you're blocking the uh, front punch. So that means from here, don't block. See how I raise my hand from my ear and need to be passing a little bit over your head. Okay, so this is front of you. And then when you turn, Pull the other side and back to horse riding stance. So this is the rear right here. Okay, so let's practice that one. Right here. We're gonna go back to the horse riding stance. Okay. Ready, go. One. And punch. Okay, walk. Back kick. Pull. In. Block. Going back. Down block. One. And then block. And then elbow. Okay, so when you do your elbow this side, make sure you have to, don't stop right here. Make sure you actually push your elbow. So this hands need to be right on the other side of the face, the other shoulder line. Okay, from here, next movement. Retrieve, not, not moving your legs. From here, okay, same thing. Don't turn your shoulder, keep your shoulder straight. So you order to keep your horse right in stance. And then turn, punch. Okay, you have to make sound. If you don't make sound, if you don't catch it, this is 0 0.3, okay? From here, okay? And then walk. Walk, keep your hands straight. And then retrieve and kick, same time, ready, go. Kick, in, block. Very good, very good. And you done block, ready, go, one. And block punch, ready to two, raise up, okay, and then elbow, ready to go, one, very good, and then move your right leg, the center together, okay, but this movement is right arms in the back, you need to make like a, this X, so I see if people go like this, no, you have to make it from here, Okay, right here. One, and then two, three, four. When I do four, both my palm is facing down. And then five, I start slowly, make a fist. Five, six, seven, eight. Light and touch on the eight. Okay, but don't, don't, do, don't do this. This is a little bit light, light and touch. Okay, now we're gonna turn. Next chop, down. So let me face it. So we're gonna go neck chop and down. Okay, next movement. Three hands up. Remember, we don't want to go up, move forward. Neck chop, neck chop. Make sure it's straight. Don't bend your elbow. Straight and then turn. Come on. One more. Neck chop, down, and then neck chop. Okay. Pop. Right here. So again, it's flat. Don't do this. Okay, flat. And don't turn your finger. Okay. Right here. Got it? And Apollo. Go back. One, two, three, four, five. Show. Very good. All right. I noticed a lot of movement to go over because um, choreo is one of the forms that's very low. Almost similar to the tap it's very long. There's a lot of movement. 
So a couple of the most important parts of movement is the very, very first four movements, set to side, double leg, side kick, neck chop, high, punch, block. Same thing, one, tap, tap, block, punch, block. Okay, so this are the most important one in the beginning to set the tone, okay, for, for, for this process. And then the front line is how you impress your referee. So front line, one, two, push. Because a lot of times people just go like this without even moving their uh, shoulder. So we're gonna go one, push your shoulder. The reason you push your shoulder is you wanna be able to execute that uh, front kick really easy because you don't, all you need to do is just knee up, see? And then pull, pull shoulder, right? And then kick, and then thumb, push your shoulder. So that's how you express the body or your body of the movements. So you don't want to do this. Everything is not shoulder movements. Okay, push. Okay, as as well as you can. Make that impress. And then the next movement. So this board and the front line is important. And then we turn the spine. And then this side, side to side line is also very important. You got to make sure you go down to the right push right in stance without move too much like this a lot of people when they do this they start moving their knee and go on the right hand side they wobble them so you want to plant it and not move even with this not move so you gotta make sure you really tight keep it tight and then move keep your hands up right and then side kick when you side kick raise your knee in the front chamber right chamber and then down. Okay? So same thing, repeat the other side. So this side to side line is very important because that as a kid, as a kid you want to keep as far as low as you can. Okay? So it's very simple line, but then that's how you impress the, uh, the referees or when you do the forms. And then the back side, the back side, because all the referees sitting in the front or all the audience sitting in the front, there's nobody in the back. So in order to make sure Everybody catch your movement, make sure it's powerful. So you have to make sure you, you rotate your hip. So don't do this. So, no, I'm sorry. One, two, one, two, see? All you're doing is you're just chopping your hands. So it's like really boring if the audience is in front. So what you want to do is one, two, see? Yeah. See how I need to rotate my hip? One, two, and then one, two. Right? One, two. So you gotta do this, kick, kick, kick. Okay? And then, okay? So that's how you make sure that the audience in the back leg, in the back side knows why your movement is really powerful. Pow, 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 pow. Okay? Otherwise, if people go look at your back as you go forward, it's like really, really boring. Okay? No power whatsoever. So that's how you use your hip location. One, two, one, two, okay? But we don't move your leg, because a lot of time people over rotate the hip, the legs go like this, right? So you don't want to move your knee, rotate your hip. One, two, okay, one, two, okay? So just a little bit, that'll make a huge difference. So let's do it one more time, from beginning to the end, follow my count, okay? We'll do it slow, and then make sure you key out the right place, okay? So I'm going to face in the same direction as you. So I'm going to go this way here. All right, everybody shut up. To me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, keep it steady. One, two, three, That's one, turn, one, two, keep it steady. And one, two, and block, three. Okay, and the back leg, back arm, ready, one. One, two, push, two, kick, one, push, and one, kick, one, ah, two, kick, and knee break. And turn, one, kick, knee block, two, kick, and knee block, three. And turn one, one, two. So it actually is one, two, two movement. Okay, ready? Side kick and then boy you tap. Ready? Go. Walk. Side kick. Walk. Good. Now 
Now what? Punch. And then last punch. Go. One. And then elbow. Okay, nice one. One. Punch. Two. Good. Ready. Side kick. Going attack. Go. Side kick. One. And. Okay. Block. One. Okay. Go. One. And elbow. Two. Okay. Ready. Go. It count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Turn around. Ready. Go. One. Two. Two. One. Two. Back. One. Two. Very nice. Make sure it's a neck level, okay? Because we're doing neck trick. Okay, hello. One, two, three, four, five. Show. Okay. So that's complete movement of a choreo. Let me see if everybody has a question. Why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and take a one quick water break, come back. Let's see what question do you have that uh, on the chat room, okay? Everybody to go. Connect. Okay, what about go? I read in the chat too because I can see on the screen. Okay, very good. Okay, I see a lot of people. Okay, when we reach forward with your feet strike towards the front, does the weight in our front seat transfer to the front leg? No, because you have to, okay, so let me answer some question here. So you don't transfer the weight because each stance has its own weight distribution. So remember, if you're working, uh, walking stance and your front stance, or your weight distribution distribution has always in the center, okay? And then your back stance, remember, is uh, 70 in the back leg, 30%. So when you put everything together for the pool say, the weight distribution is very important. If you can just follow the very fundamental, the basic, your basic movement, you'll be fine, okay? Very good. So again, um, I think a lot of time was really hard to really uh, to get used to it is the, the movement from one position, move to the one, uh, next position. I think all your stance is great, no problem. You understand that all the differences between the stance. It just, uh, because a lot of time we have turned the back way, we turn right direction. So that's where you have to probably spend the most of the time, make sure how you turn. So a lot of time you have to push the front leg Sometimes some movement, you push the back leg. So make sure you, when you turn the direction is smoothly. Again, one thing you wanna avoid is, is push up. When you transition, is push up. So that's why when I train my Kunsei athletes, I always teach them, I do the warm up like this. I go back, back, back. So I, I teach them how to move their hip. 
push, push, see? So that's how you move. Okay, same thing when you move the, the other direction, you push back. So you gotta go forward, push back. Okay, so this, when you go forward, you always push your back legs. So just make sure you don't go up and down, up and down. If you can remember that, then I think you're gonna see a good improvement in your form. So just make sure it's not up and down. Okay, and the presets on your blocks is very important because I've seen a lot of students when they do preset, when they do a single movement of blocks, perfect. They do a big movement of, uh, uh, of a preset, but then when they put a pull set together, they forgot to pull, extend their arms, right? So their block look like this. They're just coming from here and do this. Okay, so most important thing you need to know is even you do a pull set, follow your basic. If it's a middle block, inside block, hands out. Okay, hands out. Okay, same thing. If high block, make sure you're doing back uh, right position. And then another thing is, one more thing is when you kick. So a lot of my students they are sparring competitors. So you know how sparring competitors when they kick, their hands just kind of swing everywhere, right? But with pull say your hands. Every time when you kick, if it's not small hinge where the certain kick your hands has to place in the right position. But mostly, if it's not a certain position, you always have to make sure your hands is very lightly. You don't want to squeeze too hard, right? If you squeeze too hard, what happened to your shoulder? You raise up, right? So you have to drop your shoulder when you kick. Because some people, when they kick the front kick, they go like this. You go raise up. So when you kick front kick, make sure your shoulder just push down. And your hands need to be lightly clenched. Don't cling too hard. Because what happens is, again, if you quit too hard, you tense up your shoulder. Everything look like this, really tense. So when you tense your upper body like this, guess what happened to your kick? You won't be able to kick high. So that's why, why everybody, when they practice, when they warm up, they can do a beautiful front kick. But then when they ask you to do the pun say, the kick's not as high because it tense up, right? They tense up. So make sure when you do a front kick, relax, right? Hands always, in the side kick, hands here. Front kick, hands here. You don't, want to, you don't want to place your hands right here when you do a front kick. Why? Because it gets in the way. See, if you put right here too low, it gets in the way. You touch, you won't be able to kick high. So that means I always tell people, but you don't want to do this, okay? So raise up just a little bit right in front of your chest. Go like this, everybody. Yes, go like this. So when you kick, see, my hands, my elbows right here. So hands, my kicking, it's not in the way, I'm, I'm not touching my arms, okay? So the front kick is very important, right in the center. Okay, kick you, follow your side of the arms right here. So knee up and execute. The speed is about the execution speed is where you need to go up fast, whole half second and bring it down. So chamber and chamber is very important. Knee chamber and chamber is very important. Okay, so I think that's all the questions that I see on the chat room. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm always available. Make sure you, uh, you know, contact uh, Grandmaster uh, Shin or uh, Ms. Selma and Dr. Selma, so they can reach me. And I'd love to do another seminar with you guys because this is what I love. This is my passion, and I love to pass my uh, knowledge to everybody. And so that way we can together promote our sport punse. So I hope uh, see you guys very soon, Master Shin. Thank you, Master Alba Adams. Thank you for the great seminar. So everybody, let's attention and bow. Let's give her big hands. Thank you, Master Alba Adams. That was a wonderful seminar. Uh, well, thank you everyone for participating in our weekend seminar. We've been, we will be hosting our Saturday noon seminars through the month of May, but also we have an online virtual Taekwondo championships at the end of this month. So you can perform your farm or your weapon farm and uh, place your living room or your Taekwondo school or your backyard. So we're gonna have a virtual championship. I look forward to all of you guys participate. It'd be a great event. It's also being treated as a tournament credit as well. Um, but anyway, next week, 
we're going to have a different topic. We are, I'm talking with another master, uh, one of the Olympic athletes or coaches, and they're going to be giving you some tips like we did today with Master Alva Adams. Again, thank you, Master Alva Adams, and we will invite you back in the future. Appreciate it. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.